Just a very small video, folks, as it's very busy around here. This is, uh, I think it's All Saints at uh, Newmarket. I forgot about this one around the back. I, um, we came here with Zara, but um, I don't think we did identify any graves then. As far as I remember, we didn't. Of course, they've all been placed up against a wall there. Another, we just do it while we're here. We just well have another look round. Um, while we're here, take just do a little reminder of it. Big tall tree there. Yeah, look, it's a very small video. Just a token visit, this one. Because most of the graves, you can't read them. There is a frost there, I can see. A William Frost. Because they're somewhere in the family. There's a frost, but it could be anybody. I can't see a date or anything. Well, right, over now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a video walking around the cemetery first before really doing any depth stuff. So, I'm gonna walk around. It's a little chapel. I can't remember the little chapel, but I expect it was there. I mean, we're talking about 18, 19 years ago that we came here. And though I've been back since, I've been back to Newmarket passing through it, I haven't actually, I haven't actually stopped and, because I lost a whole tape once. I wonder if that's still open. Let's have a look. Now they shut them, see? They shut them. I'm all right at the moment. I'm just having a, what I'm doing is just a quick scan. Then I'll start doing some photos. Um, we did, I did this cemetery quite well, but what happened was I taped over it all. Now it's quite hot in the sun, quite hot. And it's uh, probably grown a lot in 20 years, is not it? So what I'm doing now, I'm just doing a scan of Newmarket Cemetery, which Zara and I and Brandy visited in 2005 and 2006. Once when we were on holiday, a family tree holiday by the way, and once when we came to live up here again for a family tree six month spell. Now, knowing me, I think I've left some of the glasses at home. <laughs> Super good, isn't it? But like I said, all I'm doing is a scan. We're looking for musks, basically. And, um, Whether we find any or not, I don't know. I said I haven't put my glasses on. I think I left a pair on the bed. Um, I'll go up here and see if I can find them. There's a path that goes all the way around, you see. 
but just with half of them unreadable unless you get right up close you can't uh, you can't actually see them you know unless you get right up close that's where you need a burial plan is it? yeah that's where you need a burial plan because I think I've bought the pen and I think I've left both sets of glasses behind I think I have have you? yeah left them both on the bed and I both of them otherwise they'd be in here and I'd be able to see them and I just forgot to put them in my bag I'm forgetting stuff all the time lately it really is bad um, I'm just having a quick look in case I put them in here it looks like to me that I've left both sets of glasses such an important thing on the bed so I've basically got to rely on my own eyes which is not going to be very good especially as the stones are quite um, hard to read anyway and we've got the sun in our eyes but we just do what I call, what I used to do before it's called a quick scan it's called a quick scan just in case because um, I've got a feeling musks will be in here and brooks but um This was, this, this was the main cemetery this was the main cemetery for when Exxon wasn't taken anymore see there's a peachy here we got peachy in the family The only way you can really do this properly, as I found out from other graveyards, you have to have a map. You have to have some idea where it is because anyone, this could be one, but you'll never know because it's impossible to read. I mean, some of the stuff I'm doing. Basically, it's just revisiting to place flowers. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, it's very, very difficult. Especially without my glasses. I can't believe I left the glass, both sets of glasses on the bed. And I have. Couldn't see him, see, without me glasses on. <laughs> Couldn't see him. I remember going up all the rows. <clears throat> and of course, what you've got to remember is back then I had a lot, a lot you know, you're talking about nearly 20 years ago. My energy levels were massive. Me and Zara used to plow through stuff. Did you? Yeah. We used to plow through. And there were two of us, two sets of eyes. But of course we were not looking for musks back then. Weren't you? No. We were not looking for musks. We thought it was a weird name when we came across it. Right, I'm going to turn off for a little bit and take a few photos. That's quite a massive graveyard, everyone. I'm just doing a bit on the end here. Because I've done a lot of driving, travelling. I've spent loads of time looking around cathedrals and castles. 
and the driving has been the worst thing really the motorway work and negotiating roads and roundabouts and it's quite tiring but today is just a revisit really it's just a revisit I'm going to Exxon, Exxon in tomorrow and um, so there's somebody there called Brooks could be a relation couldn't it there's Brooks 22nd of April 1934 to the 21st of September 2004 so could be a relation we'll just stop and take a today. picture I found the usual ones that we knew before there's a mason some moons a Briggs one which uh, might have got before that seemed quite significant and a pledger they were very close then there was another one next to the Briggs and they were quite big stones and people from Borough Green did used to get buried here and there's probably more of that we just because we can't read half the stones it's the same problem really is it yeah it's exactly the same problem as we had before so all I'm doing I'm just doing a little tour around because I don't expect I will come in here again mainly because we it hasn't been as fruitful unless I got the burial plan if I got the burial plan if I had the burial plan I think I would it would be likely I would come back in here but with no burial plan it's very very difficult but I've been round I've done a bit of scanning again taking photos of the old grave here and there and Newmarket was a important place for the ancestors but <coughs> we have got them buried at Borough Green that is um and Dalham and there will be others we haven't I haven't managed to sort everything out even from 20 years ago yet you know I haven't managed to sort it all out yet it takes time there's so much going on as well you know what I mean is there yeah there's so much going on These are all new ones, but of course the new people come from the old. And um, we'll go up here and we'll go through the gate. And we'll walk down to the front. And we might just pop in again to see if there's anything. There's somebody's uh, small child there, I think. Darcy Rose. Yeah, small part, small little one. Yeah, it's been quite a hectic uh, week. Basically, I... It's only Saturday, but I feel like I've been gone about three months. You know, I've packed in so much. I mean, I had a massive, great journey up the one end of England to the other. And then I had to go across land to the Yorkshire Dells, through the Yorkshire Dells. And I spent three nights camping in a tent, good weather, a bit nippy, and then um, then I had to do another big journey down to Lincoln. It wasn't as bad a journey as the one I've done today, which was a bit hairy, but still not too bad. But I prefer motorways in many ways because you don't have to keep swerving and going through roundabouts and round bends and oh, you know. Do you want to walk down through the by the wall shell? We just have a look outside here. So I feel a bit sad when I come here by myself because because Zara and Brandy came here with me. So I feel a bit sad when I'm on my own here.
So I'm going to walk down here now. This is a new market. There's some people following me, not following me, but they're in the graveyard. I'm just walking down here. And the time is half past, it's half past seven. So that's fine by me. Now, two nights ago, I was with a stranger, a woman I met when I was out. She was walking a dog, and we, I just asked her questions about certain landmarks and that, like I do with it, I did with lots of people. And as we, she was going my way, so we walked back, and the sun was going, starting to go down. It was redder in the sky than that. And as she was saying how beautiful it was, and it would have been nice by the cliffs. She's a very intelligent, free-spirited woman. Uh, I, I call it a very existential moment in time, meeting her. Um, basically, um, very intelligent, bright woman. I think she was an archaeologist. Or she did. She was doing so much stuff. Anyway, I'm just gonna. Zoom in right across the top of the Shell Garage and you'll see a spire and that is St Mary's Newmarket which I have never been in and it's too late to do it tonight but it has got closed off graves it's got closed off graves anyway I was just saying I I spend, I do these journeys alone and then when I meet somebody and they're really kind and nice and then I have to go and I think, oh, that was a nice person I met, I ha you know, and I haven't met anybody really for a long time that I think I could have got on with properly, you know, it, it, a friendship. So she took my email address, I couldn't sort my phone out. Um, I still am not I'm not very good with phones because the sims have changed. I wish I'd give I wish I'd given it to her now. Because she's got my email but I haven't got anything to do with her. And it was just the free spirit nature of her and her intelligence and her knowledge and her non judgmental way. I liked and her love of history and archaeology and plant life so over and out for now folks